All right, so this is um, the first. I'm going to do two videos on how to collaborate online using BandLab. I've made two characters here. One's Billy the Bassist over here, and one is Frankie the Cat, named after my cat here at home. And um, the first way I'm going to show you how to collaborate is when two students can work on things at different times. So someone does something, they save it, and the next person works on the next thing. So um, we're gonna start off with uh, Billy Bass here. So Billy Bass is gonna see this assignment. So um, maybe when you log on, you'll see this. This should really say uh, like um, ninth grade or 10th grade or IB1 or IB2 or something like that. And then you'll see this assignment from me. That's me. Right? Even though I'm pretending not to be me, I'm pretending to be this person up here. And you'll see this and it'll say start assignment. So you click on that and you'll click on teacher's assignment. Um, you can work on your own thing, but I'm not sure how that quite works yet. But I do know if you do this, then you'll be working on the assignment itself. So you click on teacher's assignment, it loads it. And um, Billy Bass is going to come up with a bass line, but um, doesn't really want to uh, plug in a bass because doesn't have the right cable. So we'll do instruments here. Okay. So yeah, down here, you notice, unlike the first videos that I made, you can now see assignment brief and collaborators. Under the collaborators, I um, set up Billy Bass with Frankie the Cat, and they're, uh, they are a, um, a, a team working on this song. So under collaborators, you, you could uh, talk to me or your collaborator or another student that I pair you up with, or it could be a group of students. So let's see here. Right now, I'm going to record, let's see here, we'll change this to um, go to bass. We'll choose something kind of, let's do um, a dub bass. Okay, we'll make sure our metronome's on, and I'm going to record a bass line now. So, uh, Billy, oh, that's just the name. You can't change the name of it, apparently, because that's the name I gave it as an assignment. All right, so... So just a quick little recording I made there. And now I hit save. And I say, in my collaborators, I go over to here and I say, hi, Frankie. I recorded the bass. Why don't you come up with a drum part? I hit enter and that will send. Okay, so I'm done with my part. So now I don't want to hit submit because that's when you submit the assignment. You're, this is not done yet. So then I leave. Later on in the day, um, Frankie the cat comes up and sees, oh, look at this. I'm working on an assignment with Billy, Bass, Billy the Bassist and it's for an assignment for our school. I'm gonna open this up in Mix Editor. And let's see what happens here. So now that is showing up. I, you notice I switched over. So this was student number one. You know, I put extra tabs up here just to make it a little bit more clear. But, and there's a different picture up here. That's assignment number one. And this is a different user. Assignment number two. Under collaborators, look what, oh, there's a little red thing right there. So I click over and Frankie said, hey, Frankie, I recorded the bass. Why don't you come up with a drum part? Okay, so I'll say, um, all right, okay, I will. Okay, I'm gonna close that now. And new track, drum machine. Um, again, I don't know why I always have to do two parts. I'm just gonna delete that. We'll take a look at what's going on here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a little trick right now. Is, is this, this thing right here? I can loop that. And I'm actually going to clear everything out. I'm going to get rid of all these. 
This is a little side tip. And I'm going to press, uh, press play up here. Whoops. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Okay, so I can kind of hear it. And now I'm just going to create my drum part. Okay, so now let's see what that sounds like. Hmm, something weird going on there. That, this drum sound doesn't sound very good. I'll just go with, uh... There we go. All right. Good enough for now. Save. Collaborators. Okay, Billy. I did the drum part. How about melody? Can you do that? Okay. Exit. Okay, so now Frankie the cat has done their part. Now we go back over here. I'm just going to refresh because I'm on one computer here. When Frankie the cat clicks on this next, the drum part is now there. And you can keep going back and forth, adding new parts, editing, but you know, that's, it's, it's best to have one person working on it at a time because if two people are working on it at the same time, it does give you notification, but it can create some problems. So you kind of want to pass it off. And if I'm not mistaken, um, you just want to check on that uh, uh, assignment or the, the chat function for that. All right, and you can also collab, like you can also message me and see, you know, what's going on there too. So that's the simplified version of how you can collaborate together when not working on it at the same time. Next video will be what it looks like when you're working on a project from two different spots at the same time. All right, so enjoy um, and talk to you soon.